Hello, hello, good evening. What's happening? Welcome to another edition of Roz's Happy Hour. I'm your girl, Roz, coming to you from Trisha Entertainment. Please follow my business page at Trisha Entertainment. I'm so glad to be back at it tonight. I took a little time off. Um, it was great, but I'm back. And we are booked up at Roz's happy hour until through Christmas. So please uh, come check us out. What's happening with everybody else? How are you all doing? How's everybody? I pray that you're doing well and staying healthy in mind and body as you are strong in spirit. Keep the faith. Oh, and I want to encourage you all to keep up as much as you can with your follow-up health care. It's so important during this time. Well, if you are new to our show, welcome. And I hope you keep coming back. If you've been here before, thank you. Uh, but for now, everybody, could you please share the link? We want to make sure everybody can get on because we're going to have a uh, jazz, smooth jazz show tonight. Looking forward to it. And I'm grateful for your continued support. Um, hey, did you guys see our show last, uh, a couple weeks ago, Roz Zabiar with T-Ray, the violinist? Oh my God, I encourage you. Um, check it out on our YouTube page. Uh, please support the artist. He's fantastic. New Orleans native. Um, you can find all of our past shows on Raz's uh, Happy Hour YouTube channel. Well, I know y'all didn't come to hear me talk, talk, talk. But anyway, you're in for a treat tonight. Uh, we have an amazing one and only smooth jazz pianist and composer from my backyard, Sacramento. California. But let's show him some love. You know how we do, y'all. Hard him up. Hard him up. If you would, please welcome Cecil Ramirez. Hey! What's hey. Up, <laughs> Hard him up. <laughs> it's up. I know how you do it, camera That's side. Right. <laughs> well, welcome to Rise's Happy Hour. Thank and you. Thanks for having I, me. You're welcome. And you are a guru at this, so let's get it started. <laughs> what's, in, what's in the glass, Ross? <laughs> Champagne. All right. I want to toast to our friendship and thank you for saying yes to come on here tonight. My pleasure. Honor. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Ross. You're welcome. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> yeah, cheers, everybody. I hope you all got your glass. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's saying, stay with it. <laughs> stay with it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So how have you been, man? How I mean, we've gone through fires and, you know, the pandemic, and now the wind is blowing and then my allergies. <laughs> like... No, I hear you. I hear you. It's been tough. <laughs> hey, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> it's been tough. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, I think... We've got, well, now Southern California is going through the whole fire thing. You know, we had, our, yeah. you know, they got it really bad. But, uh, you know, 2020 is just that kind of year. <laughs> Listen, I'm uh, not turning the clock back on Sunday. I'm not going back to 2020. <laughs> you don't want to give it one more hour, right? I don't want to give it one more hour. Let's uh, push forward to 2021. Hurry yeah, up. Yeah, so, yeah. You've been staying close to home or going to any events? You know, not really. I mean, there are no events to go to here, <laughs> here in Sacramento. I mean, uh, um, Napa just started opening up again, and Karen and I were talking about going out there and uh, doing some wine tasting, and you know, visiting our friends up in Spring Mountain where the fire was, you know, and seeing oh. what they're doing. And yeah. I think that's the biggest thing for Napa right now is uh, they're really wanting people to come back and visit, and of course that helps their bottom line and you know uh, supports what they're trying to do. A lot of wineries particularly uh, Spring Mountain, Howell Mountain, they have to rebuild. You know, some places lost everything. Um, <clears throat> Meadowwood Resort um, had a lot, yeah. they lost their Michelin star restaurant. Wow. To fire. And so, yeah, it's a big task, you know, and uh, for uh, 
uh, you know, I'm hoping that our Southern California friends do better. For them, it's really tough because the houses are a lot closer together and mm -hmm. there's more of them, you know. So uh, I really hope that they survive and that the winds uh, die down enough that they can contain that thing. But yeah, it's been an interesting year. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Cecil and I met at one of my favorite events and I got my shirt. I don't know if you can see my Yeah, I see. Representing. You got the yeah. fancy one or the gold. Oh one. yeah, I got the gold. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I awesome. love that is the best event and the Lincoln Theater is my favorite. I always said, you know, if something happens and my husband's military, that's the place I'm going to retire to. Is that okay. like you know, um, it has everything in there. Uh, that is my favorite theater. Awesome. So, oh, yeah, it's wonderful. Uh, the, the venue is awesome. And uh, the sound's great in there. And, it's, uh, you know, it's easy for people to get. Well, you got to walk. If you park down the hill, you got to walk up the hill. But you know what? You need the exercise. I've been eating and drinking too much anyway. At the end. So, <laughs> you know, some exercise before a concert's good. <laughs> yeah, see, I forgot about all that. I oh, just yeah, yeah. Well, you and I are usually in the lobby doing you know what, so it's like, mm -hmm. yep, mm -hmm. that's it. Staying with it. <laughs> Stay, staying with it. Well, I am thrilled that we get to publicly talk to each other. I must say, Cecil, this guy is one of the nicest, easiest going musicians I have met and worked with. So, um, and I have to say, I would not be doing Roz's happy hour um, if it wasn't for this man right here. I just got to give him his props. When I started this out, he came to my rescue. And I am super grateful because everybody doesn't do that. You know what I mean? And you were right there pushing me through. So thank you. And now we are 20 episodes. <laughs> there you go. That's how we roll, right? Yeah, we should all help each other. We should all help each other. You know, I, I, I love helping people with this kind of stuff because it's hard. You know, when you get in and you're trying to make the quality of the show better, it's hard. And mm -hmm. uh, we can all use some help, you know. It's yeah. Good. yeah, you got to you got the buddy system makes it fly. So, yeah, but everybody's, you know, they everybody's trying to do their own thing and they don't want anybody else to they don't want to share. So I recognize and when somebody supports me. I am so grateful because I want to be that same back wherever yeah. I can. So, but you've headlined some pretty incredible festivals. I mean, what, Catalina Jazz? That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Of, of course, Napa Valley Getaway. Mm -hmm. You do a lot of work with that event. Um, yeah. yeah. They're really good friends of mine, and I've been involved with them. Uh, since uh you know since the first one in uh, oh in 12 you know and, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah yeah and so um it, it's been great I, I i was involved in them of course because uh, the company i worked for at the time we you know brian is an artist for them and i am and it's just like hey man oh. if you need a piano we'll send one you know so mason oh. and hamlin has sponsored napa valley jazz getaway for a long time and uh, I, I also, it was kind of weird being at Jazz Getaway uh, for me because I was wearing multiple hats. Yeah. You know, when uh, Brian asked me to co-host the welcome dinner, it was like, what? You know, that was like, what? Yeah. And, uh, so it was like, you know, going between being an artist and uh, being a sponsor yeah. rep, you know, and then um, now my new role with uh, Jazz Getaway is VIP host, which is really a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, but, uh, uh, Wednesday, just to say Wednesdays are always interesting because I try to, I got to be with the VIPs and then I get get back for uh welcome dinner sound check, you know, and then we got to do it. So it's, it's really an amazing, uh, you know, uh, if I can get through Wednesday, then I'm good the rest of the time we're there. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, it's just starting good on Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. You know, and I, I always told my band when my, when I used to have my band, with me on it it's kind of like look the responsibility is we set the tone brian's trusting us to set the tone for the festival so it's got to be right you know and we gotta yeah. we gotta go all in and we gotta give them the best show we know how to do and mm -hmm. um you know and thankfully you know the guys responded and so now the welcome dinner has gotten so popular that you know a lot of the uh, like brian's band and a lot of the artists you know they want to be there too in place so, right, so right. you know now now it's been structured a little bit differently and uh you know and it's great i mean the welcome dinner is just yeah 
Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. It doesn't matter which seat number you have because no. you're going to be up close to the stage at the end of the night anyway. So yeah, it's, it's nonstop. Fun. It's nonstop. And Brian, he's just casually talking about for you guys. Brian Colbertson yeah, is who we're talking about here. He is just going crazy. I mean, with this, he is just killing the game out here with the streamline. So yeah. streaming. Yeah, yeah. he's but, taking the uh, he's taking the live show to a whole new level. You know, oh and my it's, God. I'm just so so proud of the man, and uh, just really, you know, you, you're proud of your friends. You know, you want to see yeah. him do really well, and yeah. he is just such a hard worker. And you know, he loves uh, putting out the best possible. Show. He, oh, that's just the way he is. You know, yeah. puts out yeah. the best possible show for his fans for his fans all the time. All the time. And yeah, I love that. I love yeah. it. And it makes me want to do it, and it makes other artists who take it seriously want to do it as well. So. Yeah, and I am so fortunate that I was able to work with Brian. I booked him on a couple dates, yeah. as well as Cecil. Cecil and I have worked. Oh my God, it was a beautiful gig, and uh, uh, you played out at the Pacific Ocean. I mean, that was, that was out of control. That was. In <laughs> we were at the Ritz Carlton. Yeah, Ritz Carlton and Laguna Niguel. Laguna. Yeah, and if you've never been there, it's like what. That's it like, you know, yeah, um, tough gig, right? Yeah, yeah. Tough Thank gig. you, Chrysler Minority Dealers Association, for That's allowing so me to bring Cecil to that gig. And I'm telling you, he was just a joy to work with. Um, but you've also done Sacks on the River. I've never been to that one. Mm -hmm. um, there, uh, Trish, Trisha Friend is the, uh, she was the organizer, you know, and started. It's, um, I think I played at the third one. You know, and then I think last year was the first year that she um, didn't do Sacks on the River. And it's it was originally designed as a fundraiser, you know, during, it's always in October, during Breast Cancer mm -hmm. Awareness Month. And so, oh, okay. yeah, and so uh, when it first started out, she was uh, 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 working with the Carla J. Williams Foundation. And then later, she got involved with the Susan J. Komen Foundation. And so yeah, they great. were part of it as well, and the event got really big. And then, uh, um, you know, she had some changes. Uh, uh, she lost Curtis, you know, her longtime, uh, you know, friend and partner in life. Mm -hmm. And uh, the man that really was, he was kind of the behind-the-scenes guy on it, you know. Yeah, so, uh, that's and, tough. Yeah, but, but as an event, really amazing, really amazing. I've Played with a lot of artists there, uh, Michael LinkedIn, Lynn Roundtree, yeah. um, uh, uh, Kim Waters, uh, oh, Tom Braxton, yeah. Andre Delano. I mean, yeah, yeah she, she managed to get some really great artists. Yeah, really fun, fun show. Yeah, yeah, fun. absolutely. Well, are you ready to share a little bit of music? Let's just sure. jump in. And... Okay, so do you want me to play live now, or what are we doing? Are you yeah, yeah, video? you want to play live for a minute? Yeah. Okay. Hey. You got to say hi to all the look at all these people in here. I know we're gonna come back and say, you want to say hi to them? Okay, we can say hi. Let's let's see. We're oh gonna... my gosh! Hey guys, look oh. at you. Yep. <laughs> I, you know, I have to scroll back. Nice. I mean, this chat this chat is moving right now. So <laughs> it's moving. It's moving. Let's yeah. See. Thank you guys for uh, for tuning in and hanging with me and Roz. Yeah. Okay. Let me play a tune for you. How's that? I'll do. Uh, press the G -star. Mike Jones. Hey, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> That's on Chicago connection. Okay. Awesome. awesome. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, I'm going. So that's Michael Lincoln playing on the saxophone and Adam Hawley playing guitar.
love you. Hey, all right. That's what I'm talking about. I, I'm glad to be having you live because Cecil has a fantastic show on Sundays. Um, what's the name? I'm sorry. It's called Sundays with Cecil. Sundays with Cecil. <laughs> or, or for the mighty online gang, we call it SWC. I it's saw just... some of them here too. Oh yeah, yeah. The online well, yeah. gang is here. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Somebody's talking about your la lava lamp is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's that's one of our things. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to get me one. Yeah. Bravo! All right. Yes, amazing. He is. <laughs> He's very amazing. But um, you've also played with many. Oh. I got a shout out, Walt. I can't. <laughs> Walt, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now I don't know how to get off of here. Awesome. But um, no, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Oh, so I you... see some of my peeps here. Cool. Sorry, I'm just reading the comments. <laughs> <laughs> just like on the show, it's like, oh, I got to read the comments. Yeah, you got to read the comments. I know. It's like, like recognize oh. Terry and Mary and. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Thank you for sharing. I mean, yeah. thank you for coming on. Um, but you you mentioned earlier you've played with Michael LinkedIn mm -hmm. and Adam Hawley. Adam Hawley. Yeah. 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 I was fortunate enough to have them on the album. So uh, the first album I did, I kind of had to do everything myself because the money was a little tight. You know, mm -hmm. so it was just like, okay, just do the best you can. And the only thing I couldn't play on the album was guitar. And, you know, I mean... Uh, you don't want me playing guitar, uh, not on stage, but uh, but I knew enough to, you know, at least uh, kind of work with other guys. And then the the second album, that was when I had uh, Adam Holly. He played on all but one of the tunes, but just added amazing uh, guitar parts, you know, just really incredible. And uh, for sax players, Mike Linkton was on it, Phil Denny was on it, and uh, Darren Ron played on it. So that was a lot of fun. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, and it's an incredible piece. Um, that you did talk to, is that on the talk to hand? Um, the one I just yeah. did or the sorry, one that we're talking about. Oh, the, that was called J street. The one I just played and that with that had Mike LinkedIn playing sax. Oh. Adam Holly playing, uh, he was playing guitar and, uh, my guy from Sacramento, Walt Williams was playing drums. And so wow. it was fun. Wow. Well, tell us about your project. Talk to the hand. Cause oh. That was amazing. Was oh, it thanks. like, was it mean talk to the hand like that or? It was, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it, it was kind of a hand thing. The, so we'll give you the inside track. When I first put the album together, um, this is so funny. The original name for the album, oh, sorry, Marianne, love you too. Um, the original name for the album was called uh, Handemonium. <laughs> so i thought okay well i'll go with that so we did artwork and i had it all set up and it was like handemonium and then i got this email this is the best i got this email from uh, a company on the east coast who requested <laughs> they said well we're we're a, a company that makes hand puppets and so our company is called handemonium so we're just politely asking you not to name your album <laughs> Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, I thought, oh, okay, sorry, didn't know, you know, but uh, that was one of those uh, learning moments where it's like, yeah, check the name of the oh, album Lord. against the big database before you uh, go out there. Yeah. So, yeah, so my backup title was called Talk to the Hand. Oh, so God. I just kind of went with that. <laughs> Now you should call the Muppet people back and say, guess what? I got a theme for you. <laughs> That's right. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, those copyright things, I mean, people do get, um, you know, and rightfully so, they get territorial about their names. You know, when you put them out, put enough time into trying to brand it and everything, yeah, you know, you want to make sure that uh, your brand's protected. So I, you know, I wasn't going to fight them over that. You know. Right. Really, right. they were really nice people. Yeah. And so I thought, well, that's cool. You know. Yeah, just don't use our name. But I like Talk to the Hand. Yeah, yeah. me too. It turned out pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So sometimes, you know, what doesn't seem to work can be to your glory. Sure. <laughs> and sure. It absolutely was. Yeah. So, but, and that earned it places on the top 40 smooth jazz billboard for you? Um, the Talk to the Hand didn't. Um, Party in the Back did. But Talk to the Hand, because oh, it, was, right. it was, I was still trying to get my connections you know for uh, distribution going mm -hmm. um you know a lot of the 
the um, internet streams, of course, they're going to look for new music to play because they may not necessarily have access to the majors, you know. And so, uh, and the nice thing is, um, a lot of artists that have been with majors are now independent. Oh, yeah. You know, so they're wanting to uh, get their music out there too. And that's where the uh, streaming stations really um, help out, you know, because they give exposure to artists that may not be able to uh, to reach other people. You know, shows like your show and mm -hmm. uh, uh, some of the uh, internet streams that uh, played my first album, you know, that they kind of helped put me on the map. So, yeah, there was, uh, you know, I, I managed to make different charts um throughout europe you know i had some hits mm -hmm. there and uh oh, in Canada. Nice. Yeah. Nice. yeah yeah, Which is yeah cool. not bad for getting started you know i was kind of like still trying to make my make my mark on the uh you know on the scene so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah i mean the jazz scene is is just an incredible scene um i've been doing the dave cause cruise mm -hmm. and it is just with Brian Culberson, Napa Valley Jazz, the Dave Cos Cruise, um, it's a whole different set yeah. um, from my R and B set. Um, the people are just all together for one cause: mm -hmm. good music and good wine, <laughs> <laughs> and a good time with each other, yeah. and a good time with each other. <laughs> yeah, everybody is polite. It really, my husband and I have the best time. Um, and talk about the wine. You're actually a student of fine wines. Sure. And you have a level one certificate yep. with the Court of Master Som. Yep. Yep. Yeah. What does yeah. that mean? Can you so, tell us? That? So, the, you know, I had um, a few years ago, I, I had considered trying to get into the wine industry. And so I thought, well, one of the easiest ways to get noticed is to get a certification. And with wine study, there's like three, three or four different ways you can get certified um, mm -hmm. as being knowledgeable in wine. And I picked the hardest one. <laughs> <laughs> so the Court of Masters Psalms, those are the guys that are behind uh, movies like Psalm, Psalm 2, Into the Bottle, and mm -hmm. Psalm 3. These are people that have made wine their lives, you know. And mm -hmm. um uh, there are four certification levels and i managed to pass level one which is uh, pretty difficult on its own you know and then mm -hmm. uh, you know i've tried for level two and that's very difficult if you don't work in the uh, food and wine industry so um, mm -hmm. the the level of knowledge required i think and uh, for recall and uh, the amount of knowledge about geography climate different parts of the world mm -hmm. um you know it's it's a pretty big undertaking mm -hmm. so um you know Right now, after I passed level one, it was kind of like, okay, well, maybe I can get back to drinking wine like everybody else does, you know, instead yeah. of having to like, look at, because I, when I was wine studying, you know, now when I pick up a glass of wine, you know, the, the first thing I'm going to do is look at it. I'm going to find a white background and I'm going to look at it, trying to find out what color it is. And that's going to tell me a bunch of, you know, and then I'm going to smell it. Then I'm going to take, it's just, you know, you get conditioned to that where you can do it really quickly. Yeah. And, um. So it's just kind of ingrained in my wine lifestyle, if you will. <laughs> but, so, yeah. I'm drinking champagne, but I'm in the wrong glass. Is that, but I like this glass. Does it That's matter? Weird. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, if you're going to, if you're going to get in there and, and try to say, well, I need to figure out what champagne it is. Flutes are good. Um, you know, the original champagne glasses are those really wide mouth plastic versions that you see at weddings. Oh, you know, yeah. Those are the original champagne glasses, but really? uh, the flutes, you know, the long, tall glasses, um, mm -hmm. those are meant so you can watch the bubbles, you know, go to the top. And so it's visually cool and very interesting, you know, but, um, you know, we, we could get like super wine geeky yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and bore a lot of people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, I just but, wanted to know about my glass since I'm a champagne drinker. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very so what's your favorite wine. champagne? What it's is your favorite? It's called Vu. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah. And I actually, well, we're not going to stay on it, but I forgot okay. to tell you. I even got, I travel with my own Vu case. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's wow, got my that's bottles. hardcore. You that's know? Hardcore. Great, great champagne. It great is. Champagne. It really is. Yeah. yeah. So she be oh, and you know, you played this song mm -hmm. on your show, and I have not been able to get it out of my head. I've been singing it 
uh, best of time. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> feel like making love. Oh, okay. Wow. No, I know. I don't know if you had that in your repertoire to play today, but at some point, I would love to hear that. You didn't, I mean. <laughs> you, know. you surprised me on that one. Okay. Oh, I know. I have to level balance that one. In, anyway. in Cecil's show, um, he does this sing-along that's just incredible. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I've been singing along, and so you got me singing that song, not okay. only alone, but okay. for days, it's in my head. You guys oh. know when you get a song, tell me a song that you guys um, out there can hear in your head and you sing over and over and over. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We're, that's what we try to do on the, the sing-alongs. I try to pick something that that people know, but they haven't sung or heard in a long time. You know, because that's when it's the most fun. You know, when you're sitting with friends and you're just uh, going, oh, you know, and you, you, you're just talking and chilling and the song comes on and goes, whoa, I haven't heard that in a long time. Okay. So that's what we try to do with the uh, uh, sing-alongs. Um, uh, you know, we try to keep that, uh, keep it going. And I kind of try to surprise everybody as much as possible. So yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Is that more <laughs> than on a level too? Oh, uh, these guys, Phyllis and Mary, you guys are sweet. Yeah. Everyone's behind, they're behind the wine thing. The wine thing's fun, so. Oh, okay. Walt Taylor, remember the time. So oh, you yeah. know Cecil. Yeah. You know him. Too. Yes. Yeah. yes. Your yes. club out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you let us hear some more. Okay. Um, Whatever you want. It doesn't have to be that one. Well, I can do, you know, I'll do that's feel like I can love for you, since that's the one that you, let's see, let's see how the balance is. Let's see. Um...
was. <laughs> I finished my champagne. Oh, boy. <laughs> the rest oh, of the boy. show. Here we go. I am not responsible for the rest of the show, y'all. And no, I do not sing. For those that's asking, Marianne, thank you. She said she'll continue coming. Oh, that's Carolyn. No, a blind man told me not to sing. Wow. That's, <laughs> that's harsh. Pretty- <laughs> That's harsh. But the truth. But the truth. So this is what I do. I book talent because I have no singing talent. But I know good music when I hear good music. And that right there, you made me so happy. I mean. Come on. <laughs> so thank, you so, thank you. Wait. How do you do it? Thank you so much <laughs> for playing that song. You know, just sure. not planned. So, but that has been in my ears. So Cecil is an alumnus of the University of Pacific Observatory of Music. Is I'm that tired. in Southern California? No, that's in Stockton. In oh. all places. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stockton, California. We're, we're uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you learned to play the piano there. You've been playing for long time or yeah you know i started yeah. i started like when i was five years old and so uh you know i was a navy brat so we moved around a lot and i think the hardest <laughs> thing was uh it was hard for my mom because she was really you know behind uh, getting me uh, lessons and so every duty station we went to she'd have to find a new piano teacher for me and so um i think i probably before i got to college i think i had i don't know seven or eight piano teachers you know, and I was able to do well. I got to outplay a few of them, which was kind of fun. Mm-hmm. But um, absolutely, um, my best um, piano teacher was uh, my friend uh, Donnie Dollarhide over at uh, the conservatory. He's gone now, but uh, mm-hmm. what a great, uh, an amazing pianist, an amazing talent. And uh, he would he would love this show if he was still alive. He'd be loved to show. He'd go, he would say in his Austrian accent, you know, Cecil, you could. Uh, you could have phrased this differently. You know, you could have made more of an arc with your, and that was just kind of the way we always talked. He was a real musician. And so I learned a lot from him and I'm grateful that, uh, that he was my teacher at back of the school. Great program, um, a mm-hmm. uh, big jazz program now. And uh, um, now I'm uh, uh, part of the uh, advisory board for the music management program, which That's is kind of fun. Good. It's a good way to give back to the school. Yeah, so. absolutely. There you got the shy lights coming in. Marshall Oof. Thompson with the shy lights. Wow. Dude, whoa. <laughs> hey, how are you? Wow. Out him out. Yeah, he came and checked out. Um, you know, checked you out. So you guys, um, as I always say, we want to definitely always support arts and entertainment. Um and so I, I'd love you to go download some of Cecil's music. And again, incredible smooth artist. Oh, <laughs> thanks. And a great guy. I love working with him. So, um, yeah. So you, uh, let's see. So you already been t- told me you've been playing the piano since you were five. Mm-hmm. Is it better to say keyboardist? Or pianist, or no real preference. Well, you know, keyboards, they didn't really come about as an instrument until like 1982 or 83. So up till 83, it was just pianist, you know. But, um, Mm -hmm. you know, when I went on tour and everything, nobody had a piano. You had to take your keyboards with you. And in the 80s, keyboard players always had at least five or six of them on stage with them. That was kind of the... The thing you did, you know, when you're oh. when you're doing Morris Day in the Time stuff, or you're doing Prince and the Revolution stuff, mm-hmm. you better have the keyboards to do it, or you have two keyboard players, you know. But with my band, um, I just covered everything, so I had like this turret of five keyboards that you know that I would stand in the middle of, and <laughs> it was pretty funny. Wow, that was pretty bad. But yeah, that's but that was kind of what you had to do. This was before keyboards had the ability to like split zones so you could play like a, a string pad on the left side of the keyboard and a piano mm-hmm. solo on the right. The keyboards didn't always have that ability. So, so, um, you know, I mean, and then, uh, after a while you go back to playing the piano cause the two are different. Um, playing keyboards is a different approach than playing the piano is, um, you mm-hmm. know, the piano is, um, typically more 
keys, 88 keys, and, and it feels different, you know? So oh. um, there's a different hand strength involved. The, the controller I play is actually pretty heavily weighted. And so, um, you know, it's, it's a lot more like a real piano for me. And that's what I'm used to. So that's why, that's why I use that. Wow. That's <laughs> interesting. So we always had a piano in the house growing up and yep. I could play one song, lean on me. Oh yeah. And yeah. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely. That's a great now, one. Yeah. But I never took up music to that extent. So this is really inter interesting because you've got style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gr grateful for that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it took a while play, to get there. You play so beautifully, and uh, I quite enjoy um, enjoyable from start to finish. I mean, when you play, always. Again, Sundays with Cecil. The sh right. It airs each Sunday. At, uh, it was at... 7 p.m. Eastern and 7 p. Yep. Yep. 4 p.m. West Coast. Yep. We're on... going to turn our clocks back this time. So yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Fall back on uh, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. 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 Um, but it's still four. It'll still be four o'clock though on Sunday. Yeah, it's four o'clock. Like... Yeah, relative to whatever time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> time whatever coast up. you're on. <laughs> Just just be there at four. If yeah. The clock says four. Come join us. It'll be fun. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and love when you're on it, Roz, because then then we can mess with each other. <laughs> <laughs> Some things just never change. You know? Yeah, you know, I'm like, whoa, you're what? playing what? What was that? Yeah, and then I get mad when I can't name that tune. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm old now. You got to play a few more chords. Oh, I got you. Some people can get it right at the first chord you play. They know what it is. Mm -hmm. And uh, musically, yeah. I'm not I'm not good like that, inclined like that. But you have a very uh, distinct ear, would you yeah. say? Well, I played a lot of tunes. I think, I think when you've played as many tunes as I have in my life, you know, yeah, you know, you're going to know just some stuff is so obvious, you know. So, yeah. do, you, do you hear notes and melodies? Yeah. Um, and oh, you mean like if I hear a piece? Fingers hear, interpret? Yeah. Well, I mean, usually if I hear a piece or if I, I hear a song, then I can pretty much go up to the piano and play it, which is kind of a nice thing because it helps you learn fast, you know. Wow. Especially like when I was learning, like when I'm learning Brian Culbertson tunes, you know, that was a big deal. You know, because I just when I, when I, the first album I bought of his was um, um, something about you. No, no. Mm. <laughs> no I'm spacing all of it. He's had so many albums I can't remember. Oh, <laughs> uh, it was a um, it was before bringing back the funk. It was um, anyway. Yeah. But, yeah. but learning those tunes, you know, because Brian's, you know, he has such a very distinct uh, way of uh, shaping his melodies. You know? mm -hmm. And it's funny, you can be really musical with him. I, I you know, his his song it's if you know, you know. It's so great, you know. Mm. You know, there's just you know You can't just stop there. <laughs> well, I better. Otherwise, we'll be here for a while. <laughs> but and so it's but so you play by ear, not. I mean, you also read. Do you read music? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, oh. You know, in school, they you can't get in the the school unless you read, and so yeah. they're real big on that. Um, but yeah, I've always just been able to like sight read and transpose and things like as long as I can remember you know mm -hmm. it's just been something that that I've been able to do so I'm kind of you know, grateful for that mm. oh my god so <laughs> it's it, uh, you can also can you do opera playing or I've done it I've done it before um I've played with uh, um Michelle Culbertson's an amazing oh uh, Brian's wife poetically trained singer and I've I've done songs with her before. She's got some wow. great that girl can sing. What? Yeah, yeah. You know, you you, you, you kind of learn all that. I, being classically trained, you know, you, it brings you into all of those things. You know, you may not, I, I may not 
dig opera as hard as I like other things like, you know, symphonies or piano concerti or whatever, but, but I can appreciate it. I love a good opera, you know. I may not be able to understand what they're singing. But, right. <laughs> uh, but, you know, that comes with, uh, that comes with, I think, uh, studying it and uh, watching mm -hmm. it over, you know, when, once I study it and go back and, s and see it again, it's great. And it, it, I, I think that applies to everything. You know, if you, you go and you see, uh, um, I don't know, pick a pick an R&B group, you know, you see their concerts and you, you learn more about what's behind the tune and you mm -hmm. go back and, you know, it's just awesome. Oh, yeah. I mean, we can go back to the shy lights. I mean, oh, seriously. <laughs> right. Those chords and the, the music just spoke to you. You know, we did. Their uh, lyrics had so much in it. So um, that was just amazing. So I'm really glad to have this time to find out more about you musically that, you know, you're not just playing, you, you headline shows, you have a band. Um, I love that you're self-contained um, yeah, as well. <laughs> about, yeah, the, during these times you kind of have to be, it's hard, right. you know, it's hard to, uh, um, yeah, I, I, I'm seeing more artists on uh, uh, YouTube and Facebook. They're now bringing their bands in to mm -hmm. the videos with them so they can stream them, which I think is great, you know, because uh, oh. you can get back to the ensemble playing again. Um, and it's fun. I don't always have uh, the gear, <laughs> the hardware or the ability to bring in, you know, I've talked to my drummer, Walt, you know, it's a man, we should get you at the house and try to mic you up but you know that's an all-day affair to get that going and it's oh my god yeah it's a, you know it's a piece of work uh, i'm getting ready to do a a show a, a streaming a show for uh people that contributed to uh one of our um challenges to help uh one of the wineries in spring mountain and uh, one of the perks that i was given people that donated were it was this uh show so i'm going to move everything out into where the real piano is and we're going to do it from there and you know, I got to make sure it's lit up right and I'm going to prepare some new music for it. And, oh, you know, wow. So, yeah, yeah. Is it going to be a ticketed event? No, you know, it's it's for uh, people that donated. Yeah, you know, either donated directly or bought wine from uh, from the uh, Schweiger Vineyards, you know. Mm. So it's just a little uh, thank you thing I wanted to do for those folks. So, Oh, that's fun. fantastic. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of stuff coming up real quick, you know, uh -huh. which is kind of cool, you know, so. That's for me. That's one of the projects I got to work on. <laughs> got to get my game on. Yeah. So what's happening with the uh, uh, Napa Valley Getaway? Yeah, getaway. Doing. So, is that going to be virtual? Um. Well, uh, they've postponed the official event, the multi-day event, uh, to June 2021, and so it's in its normal place uh, as it would be. Brian's doing um, uh, a virtual. Jazz Getaway Hang on November 14th. And oh, I'm going to invite. But, well, you, if you're a ticket holder, oh. you know, we're oh. like, you know, <laughs> you know just, to, just to kind of keep the ticket holders, you know, uh, yeah, connected. You know. Yeah. yeah, you know, and so if you have a ticket for any of the events at, uh, at uh, Napa Valley Jazz Getaway 2021, uh, you can uh, check out the uh, show that we're going to be doing. So it'll be fun. Wow, I think I'm doing you... wine tasting. Imagine that. Oh, virtually? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I think I'm oh. gonna be, uh, we're going to go through and we're going to swirl and smell and sip and do all that stuff. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be good. That's yeah. going to be good. I need to get uh, some clients on here so we can do a, a private show with yeah. the Cecil Smooth Jazz show. There you go. So somebody hook, uh, hit me up. Hit your champagne uh, peeps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so let's, let's say hello to some more people. And then we got time for um, you to play. You're okay to play one more song sure. for us? Sure. Okay. Carol Bro, thank you. Oh, he does play so beautifully. Aww. Mary Shaw, keep playing that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when I was I doing that, I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I tried to get him um, to play. <laughs> Stay with, play with it, <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's what we do. <laughs> uh, um, 
Oh, oh is in the shot. Yeah, <laughs> that's a big thing. It, well, yeah. Somehow it it uh, it doesn't show up when I'm in, when we're in uh, dual view. But yeah, you know, I just I was looking for things to decorate the studio <laughs> with for the live stream. You know, it was like, oh, let's throw that in there, and so people noticed it, and here we are. Wow. <laughs> and so it just it just it does it's not any noise to it. It's yeah. not like a waterfall. It's no, it's pretty of... mesmerizing. You know, you it's you it's... know it's just. A blob of wax that melts and floats and breaks up into little globes and reass. It's yeah. Oh, I need to get one of those. Yeah, I think you should. I think you should. Thanks, Glenn. Glenn, See, thank you, said. sir. And I heard what you said, Glenn. You said I should sing along. No, I shouldn't. Oh, we'll have to do that. We'll have to do that sometime. Yeah. Can you um? Teach vocals? Can you teach piano? I'm a terrible teacher. My wife Karen's oh. a better teacher. She's a she's she's a better she's a uh, piano teacher, and so but really, yeah, yeah, you don't want me teaching. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She does virtual Karen piano lessons from her house. What's that? Karen can play. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow! Have you guys done a duet? Uh, a long time ago, we did. You know, I mean, it's her her music uh, musical tastes run. Uh, more toward pop yeah. and country and, uh, and yeah. for uh, uh, Christian uh, pop and sacred music, you know. But we've done, oh, yeah, we've done tunes together before. She's, uh, you know, oh. I, I'm the smooth jazz guy and she's uh, she's like the country lady. So. Yeah. Oh, country. Well, we could do a show, country and smooth jazz meet. Wow. That would be, there you go. There you I like that. Yeah. That wine and moonshine together. <laughs> Oil and water. That's right. That is just so wrong, Roz. Yeah. <laughs> that would be yeah. awesome, though. That would be awesome. So, awesome. yeah. Well, let's get one more tune in. Okay. I don't want to keep you all night. Um, okay. So, oh, I'm going to do this one. I did. Uh, I, I played this on the last show, and so um, this is a. It's a remake of a remake I did of a Brian Culberton tune. <laughs> Oh, so we're gonna kind of like amp this one up a little bit if you're cool. All with right, that. let's do it. Let's do uh, it. Let's see. Y'all, y'all want to hear more Cecil? I need some hearts. Uh oh, we get some oh, hearts. <laughs> Heart them up. Or you well, to play. Whether you do or not, I've got to play this tune for you. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look out. Here it comes. <laughs>
Wow. I'm tired. <laughs> wow, that was a great send out. That was like, yeah. you take us out with that one. Oh, yeah. you're, Cecil, it has been a pleasure to hang out with you tonight. Um, really, I really enjoyed talking to you and uh, thank you for sharing your gift with all of us is what we needed, you know, and I encourage you guys to follow Cecil, join his show on Sunday. It gives me so much energy and just uplifting, you know, to, I, I miss the concert set scene. I miss the jazz shows. I miss all of that, but right now this is what we have. And so I, again, um, thank you. I'm so grateful to you and, it's been a real treat. I know. This, I'm the guy we got to do this. This is fun. <laughs> I know. We'll do it again played, sometime. Yeah, let's do it again. He played okay. live. Yeah. And so you guys download some of his music too, and I'm sure he would appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Do you have any last thoughts that you want to say? Have any words of encouragement to people before? Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I always tell folks, you know, on the show, we just got to get through this together. You know, you don't, we don't want to leave anyone behind we don't want to lose anybody in this so you know just um continue to reach out you know to each other find uh, we don't all agree on everything you know but find the common ground you know because we all need each other and we've got music and that's our common ground so you know and uh uh you know Roz, thank you for what you do uh with bringing so many different types of guests on your show uh, i'm uh, proud to be part of the uh the family that you brought in and uh, you know look forward to the next one Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, folks, that concludes episode number 20. I appreciate you all joining us. Uh, please share, support arts and entertainment. Um, don't forget to get your Whispers tickets for this weekend live stream. Um, and then get your Lenny Williams tickets and come back next week. We will have musical vocal guests David C. David C. has been with Dennis Edwards, The Temptations Review. He's a vocalist. Um, so he's been with Dennis for like 30 years. So be here. It's going to be a same. It's going to be a great show. Same channel, bat channel. I'll see you then. Thank you, guys. I love you.